I I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, I didn't talk. For real, I was just, you know, dang, I'm heartbroken. What's going on guys, it's your boy Cam the Great back again with another video and yeah, your boy is back again with another video. Yeah, your boy is back. So, before I start the video, I want you guys to hit the bell down below so I can let you guys know whenever I upload a posting. If you want to watch my last two videos, I think my last video, video I was talking about, what was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know, so what is gonna pop up up there if you wanna watch my second video. I think I was talking about 2020. I think I was. So watch the other video, okay? Okay. So if you okay, that one more thing. If you guys wanna follow my social media, it should be somewhere somewhere over here, anywhere. So yeah, let's get into the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my freshman year experience in high school so i know that we're about to go back to school well some of us because you know we're not gonna act like corona ain't a thing but people are going online people are doing a and b days which is the first section of the alphabet in the last you know that that type if you're doing it people are going to school two days maybe going to school three days online two days two days in a week at school and three days online yeah and there's some schools that are going back full time and we have an option where we're going back either we can choose online you can go back to regular school or you can do like the first nine weeks so you can be online the first nine weeks then come back or you can go to school first nine weeks if you don't like it change the next nine weeks yeah I, I'm going back to school because I'm not a uh, I'm not an online person. Five to six to seven online classes, I can't do it. <laughs> I barely pass. I'm not, I'm lying. I made an A in them, but I just I just can't do online classes because my attention span is just out of out of out of control. So I'm gonna do a first day vlog back to school and show y'all guys the difference between you know being in school, you know when Corona wasn't in and now. So yeah, basically. I'm going to talk about my freshman year experience in high school. This was in ninth grade, basically. And it starts in 17 through 18, fall 17 through spring 18, okay? And so let's start. Okay, so basically, coming in from a middle schoolish, a middle schoolish area in the high school to now a ninth through 12th grade area it changes your mentality okay because seven eighth grade camera it was not like now it's ninth through 12th camera because i seven eighth grade i played a lot where well, i really didn't play a lot but i didn't take school as serious that i could have and then i told myself at the end of eighth grade year i said cameron you got to change you have to basically become a different person but not become a different person but better yourself because you got a responsibility my sister she graduated my eighth grade year like the end of my eighth grade year and so she was valedictorian and i was like cameron you want to be there right you want to you want to set the example for your family and, and anybody else that you know what you're doing and i'm like yeah 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 then I basically told myself, Kim, you got to start with all the foolishness and stick to your grind. So coming in the ninth grade year, I was just on the go. Telling myself, no B's. High B's that can probably turn to A maybe. And so I set that standard for me and I just made all A's. I haven't made a B once. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. But yeah, I never made a B and I always stuck to that mentality. A. 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 And you know, that really inspires me now that I knew that ninth grade me said just basically built this way for me because now it's just smooth sailing. I'm 12th grade year. I done did my, I done had 4.0 from 9th through 11th. I can chill. 
well, I'm not gonna chill. I'm still keep that 4.0 because I gotta get to college. But yeah, this is, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm getting off topic. Let me jump back into ninth grade year. So basically, ninth grade year coming in, you know, had the mentality. And so, little in innocent Cameron turned into something that that made me into I, into who I am today because a ninth grade year was the time where I had to realize that some of these people ain't your friends some of these people are not gonna like you some of these people are going to use you some of these people don't don't care about you some of these people only use it for your homework <laughs> and some of these people really don't have the true intention that you thought and so I it developed my character and and I knew at that time when I was going through that that through them, them people and through them relationships where I was like dang I'm not I'm not you know I know I'm not you know what these people you know these people are not who who I think they are you see what I'm saying and so ninth grade me experienced that I had people turn on me for no exact reason I had people throw my name down in the dirt I had people hating because I was that top person in the class and during that time we was kind of you know people was leaving the smart people was leaving and you know we're not really smart people but they was gone it was finna leave and so i was kind of stepping up like well since they're leaving i'm gonna step in and fill their road you see what i'm saying uh basically like i was saying about the relationships you it really took a turn on me because i'm up seven seven eight grade me did not know that some of the friends that I had then is not gonna be cool with me now. And I'm just what finna go to a grade. And so I was that kid that was just chilling. I was I was a chill kid, you know, growing up. And I really didn't bother nobody. And when you're I be in class just like this, you know, getting my list, you know, just chilling. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of teachers did mess with me though. Like they really did like like me because I was such a genuine person, I don't lie. But I can finesse. Let me tell you something. Finesse your way through high school. That's the only way you're going to get through it. <laughs> but basically, I was that finesse. I knew how to, you know, a bit. I had that mentality like, get on that good side. Get on that good side. So, years down, you can be like, okay, Cameron, you need a recommendation for the college. You see what I'm saying? And still today, them teachers still love me to this day. But that's that's the tip i'm gonna give y'all i'm doing a freshman advice video finesse your way through high school just finesse finesse <laughs> but freshman year i was on it like i said and so them teachers they mess with me you see what i'm saying so basically let me get okay i think i want to this is gonna be the last thing I talk about because I don't want the video to be too long. But basically, the relationships I went through when I ain't great really tore me down. <laughs> I I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, I didn't talk for real. I was just, you know, dang, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> and so it was this one girl, I'm not gonna say her name, but I really appreciate appreciated her for really showing me then heartbreak, you know, you know. I, I weren't tripping, but you know, I you know ninth grade. I always say uh, one dude I always say get hurt ninth grade year, and he turns out to be a dog. And I went, and I knew then that was not who I was supposed to be. And she really tore me down. <laughs> and so I really do thank her, cause we still cool to this day. You know, I ain't no words. You know, we we was it last year or the year before that wasn't this year. We really started get back close, and we just—I always asked her what was the reason. You know, she said she don't know, and I'm like, dang. So you did all that for what? And so I knew I wasn't capable of being somebody that I couldn't be, because I always been that genuine, and respectful young man, and still is now to today. And so yeah, she got, she just got what she got to her. I knew God probably knew that. <laughs> Y'all weren't meant to be together. <laughs> and he, I, I, th I thank him because that girl is, woo. Anyways, and I don't know, I want to bring in one more story. It was this girl that um, 
I was simping over. I was really simping over this girl. And she told me, she said, Cameron, when we get in the 10th and 11th grade, I'm gonna give you a chance. I really do like you, but not right now. You're not my type. Usually what some of these girls say, and come find out my 10th and 11th grade year, she wound up talking to not one, but two of my cousins. Yeah, the you lost that baby. You lost that. I ain't gonna say her name, but I think she if she watched that video, she knows who she is. <laughs> but yeah, ninth grade year to anybody watching this, your ninth grade year is gonna be the time where you're gonna be like, dang. They're just waking you up for what's to come for 10th and 11th. Because baby, 10th and 11th grade, when I do my 10th and 11th grade video, which is gonna be up probably Monday, maybe not, maybe tomorrow. Don't get your hopes up. But 10th and 11th grade, me went through some stuff. Maybe not 11th, because I've been chilling my 11th grade year. But 10th grade, me went through some junk, okay? But is that all what happened to my 9th grade year? Yeah, I was just chilling my 9th grade year. I was just having fun and still doing my work. 4.0, okay? But, anyways, I thank you guys for watching my video. I think I'm going to close it out right now. Um, I hope you guys, you know, like, comment, and subscribe to keep watching more of my videos. And I appreciate all y'all. Yeah. So, is there anything else I need to say? Nope. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.